This man has a knight in shining armor over his shoulder in his house this morning. So McAfee is, okay, McAfee, <laughs> I, I need to get to the bottom of this. What have you gotten yourself into? WrestleMania 38, Sunday night, how in the world have you gotten yourself involved in where you will be in the ring with Austin Theory? It's an honor to be with you, okay? It is an honor to be here with you. The night over my shoulder, the baby grand piano. I'm at some yuppie's house in Dallas preparing for the biggest <laughs> Sunday of my life. Um, this was a dream opportunity that was presented to me by Vincent Kennedy McMahon when he came on my show. He flew all the way to Indianapolis, sat in our studio, sat in a Thunderdome, answered every single question we could throw at him. The first live interview he had done in over 20 years. And in the middle of it, he said, Pat, would you like to be at WrestleMania in a match? And I had an aura ring on. My heart rate spiked to 160. A dream that I had been dreaming since I was a child was about to come true. And this insufferable douche came in and smacked me in the mouth. So what I'm saying is what I'm getting into Sunday is a dream come true. What Austin Theory is getting into on Sunday is an ass beating. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I can't wait for it. In this WrestleMania, a two-night WrestleMania, the most stupendous WrestleMania of all time, I get to commentate on part of it, which is awesome and a dream, and I'm lucky to be there. And I get to be in the ring, something I've thought about my entire life. This might be the greatest weekend of all time. I'm just hoping that this night understands how big the occasion is. <laughs> give, us, give us exactly how this is going to go. Tell us what the fans who are getting ready to watch this fight on Sunday night, and particularly the fans of Austin Theory, what they should be expecting to see. He doesn't have any, okay? So to everybody else that is hoping and wishing and praying that I will beat his ass, that is exactly what's going to happen. I don't know if you could see me, Greeny, and I know you've got a stacked cast in there of Super Bowl champions and insiders that know more than any other insiders on earth, but i got a jawline all of a sudden, okay? I've got some tries and buys, and I will trap any human that wants to get after it. This is the best shape I've ever been in in my entire life, Greeny. I should have been working out like this when I was in the NFL. Hindsight's 50-50. Cam Newton said that, and I wish I could maybe go back in time, but I'm feeling real good, Green. Mm. This is the best I've felt. I'm getting in there. I'm trying to end it quick. If I got a ta -ta! <laughs> kick to the head, I'll do that. But I'm excited for whatever the world throws me on Sunday. Just trying to walk out of there undefeated at WrestleMania so I can put it on my Twitter bio. That's all I'm trying to do. Now, Teddy Bruschi, I've got the Patriots legend against the Colts legend, Pat McAfee, and that's obviously a long-standing rivalry here. <laughs> Bruschi, we, I have not had a Teddy, chance I'm to ask you. Teddy, I'm in good shape. You hear me? Daddy. I, was on, yeah, I, was I, I, I mean, this is great. This is great football talk. And, yeah, I love Adams and Carr to see how that is. And uh, I don't know if Tua can use Hill the way that Mahomes did, but I just can't get over a kicker going to WrestleMania. And <laughs> one of the funniest things that ever that ever you would see on film was when a kicker would get hit because it would be <laughs> like a garage sale because the arms <laughs> would flail and everything. And it, it would be it's like he died. So I have no <laughs> clue. How Bruce McAfee is going to do now? <laughs> you hear me? Now, now okay, yeah, you, okay, yeah. He, had, you had a good hit. You had a good hit. Now, I just, well, I got a question for you. Is there a finishing move? What would the finishing move of a kicker be in the wrestling ring? He knows. You see that? <laughs> Listen. Look at those pork you chops. Listen. You can't miss them. Oh, those little Listen, pork chops. Teddy, Teddy, I know that little pork chop. Excuse me. They called me the quad father long before anybody else got this in this meeting, okay? How's your family? All right. But also, hey, Brewski. 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 I'm with you. What you got? Okay, 24 tackles. And this ain't little, ah, my God, tackles. No, no. I'm head hunting. Hey, they changed the rules probably because of me. Okay, this Rydell <laughs> was looking for Adam's apples, pal. Roger Goodell had to change things because of what I strapped it up for. Um, but I do agree, a NFL linebacker probably much better built to get in there. Uh, I'm walking around at 235 natural, running like 4'5", four, 4'6", four, just so happened to have a cannon of a leg. Uh, so probably a kick. I yeah, I'm baby. trying to kick him. But he knows that I'm going to try to kick him, though. You know, he knows I'm going to try to kick him. So you always have to do the chess thing. I'm a big checkers player. 
okay? Get over whatever's in front of me at the moment, trying to get king, okay? But in this particular moment, I have to play chess. I have to set him up and end it. <laughs> Watch my film. We got to get, we gotta get Hembo. We got to get Hembo on it on career tackles by kickers and where's that ranks because that's a pretty oh, good number, yeah. actually. We got to see that. Bosher down in it. Bosher down in Atlanta has like 28 because he's a freak show athlete as well. But yeah, there was a year I had 11 tackles, and that was the year we won two and 14. So it could have been 11 touchdowns worse somehow. Because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know when the kicker's making a tackle, <laughs> that means it is the last line of defense for Bruce. Yeah, I love you, pal. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.